Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Let's do a sword this time. I mean, both, right? Nobody knows my sorrow. By the way, if you guys know what happened, I'll take my old name, Blue Flood, back. I just need a. I got. I guess I gotta save up uh, some money to do the name change thing. Find out who has it. So if you guys have any idea, who would uh, trade me my name? It's not like I have any money to afford it or anything, but it would be neat if I can get that back. Just saying. Anyway, we're going down here. Hope the hope is in this depth. I'm assuming like you were watching the previous one because I just literally did two seconds ago. But sorry, what I, what I meant by that, like, if, you, if you're if you not privy to the backstory, we're talking about my old name, Nindef. It's like some people think you quit a long time ago. Like, no, nah. if, if you were at least a sub of my channel and did not unsub, I mean, you should have a, a full knowledge of what happened there, but that's okay. I don't know why I even picked this sword. <laughs> well, why not? We don't use swords too often. I should have picked a toothpick if anything, maybe. Where's the key? Oh, we did. We, all right, we'll get it later. It's gotta be in here. The the switch, rather. <laughs> Might have been in our best interest to just take your time, guys. Enjoy life. Oh. Sure, we'd be like number three, Mike. Is your time to shine? There we go. Beautiful. And our attacks up. Dude, we got all the things. This is probably one of my favorite stages. If you guys in, in Grey Havens, if any of you watch these, make make like 3,000 more of these preset stages. The clockworks are amazing. There's a lot of them. That is not like devaluing them at all. I, I prefer more. But even if I have to play a preset stage, they <laughs> exploded like freaking popcorn, dude. Those poor guys. I would not mind. I will play like the new things are where it's at. It's fun, to, it's fun to play new things. Especially in a game that's like... Dude, if this game makes it to 10 years, that'll be just so cool. I'll still play it. It's one of my staples in life once in a while. But I just do arcade runs now, because everything else is, is fairly repetitive. I don't think we need to... At depth 24, I don't think I need to open that. I might do it anyway, though. I think I'm definitely going to do it. <laughs> Let's just go do it. What am I thinking? Potentially more combat, more fun. It's what, like three energy? No big deal. Now we have an even number of energy. Even amount. It's armor abs. Darn it. I designed some of my workouts after that guy. We did it. Crap. So fast. After playing games like Catacomb Kids and, you know, Into the Gungeon. Like, oh my gosh, you're only firing 20 bullets at me and there's four of you not moving? This is this is easy mode. What's going on here? I do appreciate the... Uh... Like, this game was hard at one point, but it's a, it's like stamina hard. It's like um, you get the, the nice uh, feeling of making it fairly far, but then you get to the point of like, okay, this is where the, uh, the skill set... The difficulty curve kind of kicks in. It's not even at the lower depths. It's like like arenas. I remember when uh, I used to fend off entire arenas with three other dead people in the room with just a lance or an alchemer. Single shooting that sucker, buddy. Single shooting an alchemer. Did you see that spin? I hate bushes. Lawn work is something I'm not looking forward to. Man, man, the country's, uh, country's at a very interesting spot. Hello. The entire world shutting down while we deal with uh, basically going to bed while we have the flu. Disease is an interesting thing. Um, I, I'm reading a bit about, I guess it's relevant, right? About global economics and the reasons why, um, you know, global economics is a good thing and it's a bad thing because something like this can come and then basically tear it to pieces. A uh, disease or something. Go get him, Mike. You're, you're a good dog. Good dog dragon thing. You know, it's 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 good and it's bad. And I think that if your economy, your individual economy is strong, you'd be fine. 
that you're not outsourcing or it's outsourcing too much. I didn't know you guys were still here. Da -da -da -da. There's no hits done. What? This is not the time for narcolepsy. Let's go. <laughs> Beautiful. We've done it. But America's a unique beast in every sense of the word. <laughs> but we have such a, a strong backbone of an economy that, you know, other cultures... Uh, other economies or other world powers look for look to us for a lot of things and the uh i didn't get a chance to uh, listen to president trump's address Ooh, where'd you come from buddy <laughs> i mean obviously right next to me come on but uh, i heard it was uh very mixed he did not have it wasn't the quality you would think the highest person in the world giving an address would give like uh, some of the details that were kind of a big deal this is where, like, I think him him being spoiled on Twitter kind of kind of gets him in trouble, where he just he, he can spout whatever without having a uh, any any prepped speech, something like that. I know I'm I'm, I'm really diving into politics here in a Spiral Nights episode, so let's talk about some lighter stuff. Uh, anyway, I think I had Corona at some point. That's all I'm saying. But the um, last night. I got to, uh, so my style for martial arts is Ishin Room. I'm a fourth degree. I got to, I have a couple friends who have other degrees. Uh, Kokoshiru, Shotokan, uh, Taekwondo. So last night, I, um, I'm like, hey, Master Winters. It's ironic because my daughter's name is Winter. I'm like, uh, you, I mean, I, I have a chance. I think they, they had a uh, safety meeting. Why not? They had a safety meeting at the uh, give me a give me a spark of life that would really make me happy. That, if you don't want to, that's fine too. We'll we'll deal with it. Um, but for the safety team, I volunteered at church. <laughs> I'm like, what? Well, I, I need to use my skill set for something. Why not have it be to protect people that are worshiping God? And you know, we we, we read stories and hear stories about you know, and they just give shock value, right? But about the uh, the gunman just coming to a church while people are praising God and ending them. Now, first off, if you gotta go, and, and you have to understand where I'm coming from. If you have to go, in the midst of worship, in the midst of feeling an appreciation for a force that is greater than yourself, for the monotheistic creator of the universe, and you are taken out at that moment, that is actually, I think, there are worse ways to go. Granted, now with that being said, I would do not want to have my children have no father. That is the only thing when I think about it, it's too much that makes tugs on my heartstrings, makes me want to fight. It's not for my own self. It's amazing when you live a life that is not based on yourself, how much stronger and more reasonable and, and, the, and the way those two connect, the connection between your head and heart gets stronger. But I really like that. that seriously, that's the only thing that makes me like. You know, I, I can't. I gotta live. My life is precious too. And you, and you have to understand that you love your neighbor as yourself. You are included in, into that paradigm, the one that Jesus gives. It's not just something held in a vacuum. Others are more valuable than yourself, where all is God, but you value themselves, where you can never really know. Like in the Muslim belief, even though they say your good works must outweigh your bad, that's cool to say. But in reality, the uh, all the adith say that Allah is just in charge, and you don't know. You don't know what the standard of measure is. Even when, uh, even the old Mosaic law, when, uh, you know, the one Moses gave to the Jews, he's just like, do this and you'll be righteous. How many people, like, actually did all 613 laws? And the answer is nobody. That's why the necessity of Christ was so, you know, important. Uh, he, he did keel over. All right. That chest was opened harder than any chest ever. You can see where the, the frame of mind, I mean... <laughs> When I used to do lockdown videos, it was not so, uh, <laughs> it's hard to talk about deep, deep topics when people are shooting bullets at you, right? That's from Charlie Plum. I didn't make that line. He his, his specifically was when he was shot down in Vietnam and he was saying, you know, the audacity of these people shooting at me. Don't they know who I am? <laughs> then, then his second thought is that was like, it's hard to make long-term plans when people are shooting bullets at you. I'm like, holy crap, dude. 
That is pretty true. In the midst of life, you're going to have seasons. You're going to have different obstacles. Some that come that you can see far away. I mean, death is off the, t in the tip of my tongue. And the, uh, some that you, that you just have to deal with to make it through. There is a struggle that is assumed in life. Life does struggle. Life also overcomes. There, we're going to the Jurassic Park method of life, right? Life finds a way. By the way, if you ever want to really deep dive into some of these topics, um, I have a Seek Truth series going on where I cannot be swayed by Spiral Knights. It's just me talking to a camera. I was thinking about getting rid of the background of the, uh, the little clo uh, green clockworks thing, but yeah, it's not that big a deal. Where are you guys actually going? Don't make me... I'll get Mike out. He knows what to do. He fights bugs. Come here. Beautiful. This level seems like, besides being a stamina contest, it's just fun. You really, everybody likes fighting slimes and enemies just stand there. You get to see your weapons do their, their damage thing. It's pretty cool. Where are we at? We can leave or we're going to go with the or. What are these delicious looking crystal thingies? You get the gun, my man. You must work on your own. But anyway, I, I, so let's like, we're digressing like, let's digress. Rather, use the proper, I guess, context of the word. I was uh, taking a Taekwondo class. It's it's very neat. The uh, the the differences between the katas, which are like your your basic um, fundamentals. The the concept behind a kata, it's like a predetermined fight, and you're getting as you do them repeatedly over and over again. You discipline your body to be in the correct stance, so that way when something actually happens, you don't have to worry about it so much. What are you doing? No one wants you here, buddy. I hope that makes sense. So that way, like you you can do. Years of individual techniques in MMA, the old concept of martial arts is the self-discipline, obviously, but that way when when you are, you have your, uh, there got an itch, you have the correct body format, you don't have to, you know, you don't, it, it's basically there to mitigate injury, right? And the whole concept of Tai Chi is there too. A healthy body, one that can move and be flexible. I know the, uh, the higher Don and R, our style is uh, Toyoshi Oichi Sensei, and the guy's like almost pushing 70. Can still do like a split and a straddle. And it, that's very ironic because our style itself is not a flexible. It's meant to do low kicks, but it's just good to be flexible. So why wouldn't you be? Like this guy lives out the style, which is really cool to me. That's how you should be if you're like the grandmaster, right? You shouldn't have a, this is just my opinion. Now granted there are several awesome instructors, don't have time, whatever the excuse is. I like to, um, you know, appeal to the concept that if the devil doesn't make you disbelieve, he makes you busy. We make time for what's important. There's a lot of uh, relevant adages that can go toward, you know, I just don't have the time to train. But you should take the time to train, right? We all know we should, and we should make it important. And it'll increase your flexibility, your, excuse me, your lifespan, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, this guy was a, he was an inspiration to me, but that, so I took Taekwondo class. It's a lot of kicks. The katas are fairly simple. You can tell that the uh, the person who founded our style is more of a technician. Technician when it came to martial arts, they aren't too overly complex, but it's a lot of like middle complex moves. And every, every single kata that we have, the depth inside of it is actually pretty phenomenal. You know, Sanshin, Seiyuchin, uh, Shishiban, Hunch, those are all names of our katas. And they all deal with like, fundamental aspects and you know without going on the rails too much about um the individual techniques are these like mike can you help me out here buddy just get that guy thank you i think we'll get him eventually because once we start shooting captain sleepy here like we gotta start taking out the guys in the back i know it didn't take long yeah all right, uh, we can do something like this. Oh, no, no, this. 
I meant to switch to the sword. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Faust. I remember uh, at one point when I was still Blue Flood making a curse loadout. I rolled, I had a divine hat. This is back when you can make a five star item in like a one run of Vanna. I rolled a hat. I had a, it's divine, right? The, the counter to um, chaos. I think it's divine. Anyway, the um, has curse resistance. I rolled curse max on it. I'm like, dude, I'm doing this. So I got the um, curse max. I, I, I got a torso. Oh, I got a Skulver outfit that actually curse max on it too. And I got the Grand Faust. And I might, I'm like, I'm gonna make a recon theme where I freeze them, and then I charge attack with a Grand Faust. It's a bad idea in so many concepts because they, <laughs> they never uh, decided to upgrade or fix the Grand Faust. And it's charge attack, which is highly garbage. But I wanted to make a curse because, you know, you can get cursed too from your own sword. So I'm like, uh, I would not like to be cursed by my own sword. I, I, yeah, by the way, I was looking for new levels would be nice, but we didn't see any. So we know where they're not coming anyway. But it never worked because you can only get, for some reason, the curse status itself can only be mitigated to a certain point. You don't get curse immunity. You still have curse to like, like 15% or something like that. Or no, it la when you get it, rather, when it does trigger, it lasts for a while. Regardless of your, the points of resistance you have to curse. Now, I think that should not be a thing, but, I mean, that's just me. Those decisions were made a long time ago. And now, according to the Java programmers and the maze, this game is taken with, uh, you know, different ownership. Which is basically, basically what it is. If this game was solidly controlled by just one person or unit for a time, it didn't trade so many hands and... I think have so many copyright um, trades here and there. I, I think there would have been much more flexibility because now you're bound by contract um, to a lot of different entities, which say you know intellectual property cannot be altered. That this is my theory, but I can just see it happening, right? So therefore, the game cannot change to a certain point, except for cosmetics, which uh, again, my um, my Michael Moore. Conspiracy theory says we just outsource to India because it's cheaper. We used to do that at a company I worked for. When I come to, jeez, uh, just a lot of you today. When I came to, um, like the help desk, after a certain point, they, we would out literally outsource to overseas. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but it would just, it would be, hello, welcome to the help desk. How may I help you? And it was like, oh, jeez. I, 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 I they were competent people at the same time they're like very far away communication is a struggle so they had like it's the computer interface was not very helpful you know it was, it was a additional thing you to deal with and I, it's it's hard. i didn't i didn't learn anybody's name i usually am, i'm fairly good about learning people's names because you want to if you get to deal with the same person multiple times even if you can't get what you want it's good to have a pleasant experience with them and they teach you this. In, I have this book called Seducing Strangers. Um, the example is the, the I probably gave this before, the um, the ladies going to request something from one of the, the uh, one of the heads in the other department. And the person who she's training says, you know, you know, they're going to say no. She's like, I know. But the, I, I just want to leave a good impression so that maybe next time they'll say yes. I'm like, wow, that's pretty neat. You're just having a relational, com professional conversation with the person. No, why not do that? That's, that sounds fun. You touch base, you say hello, have a casual chat, ask them for something, but respectfully, as if they don't owe you anything, right? And you go from there. So it, it's a pretty neat concept. Anyway, I forgot my water. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> This is the, just about the squeakiest chair. I've not seen my cat since I tossed him from my lap very gently. I'm just having to knock over a chair. Is that my fault? Or is it for landing wrong? <laughs> I don't know, dude. dude. My nose will not stop itching. <laughs> it's a season of spring. So, well, I mean, in a couple of days. Recording this on um, March 13th, 2020. All together now, all together now, all together now. So spring is, at least in the Pennsylvania sense of the word, it's it's been here since like 
July, or sorry, January. <laughs> Never goes away. Pennsylvania's up and down. Wow, thank you for the slime coins, dude. We're gonna freaking clean up at the slime casino if we ever see it again. Can we, can we do this? Look at that. Now I'm gonna give this a man, maybe we can just run it all in high graphic settings. I don't know. I'm guessing the slimes feel the vibration in the ground. If you walk without rhythm, you will not attract the worm, right? It's Fat Boy Slim song. It's also a reference to Dune. I mean if you if you didn't know that. So in Dune, the game was um the game. The the it's a movie and a book, right? The book came out first, from what I understand. Which is a good book. I read it. The series. Very difficult to understand when you're like 13. But I did it. I sort of did. I didn't get I didn't get some of the underlying concepts. Obviously, now I'd appreciate the philosophies in it probably a little bit more. Whether they be good or bad, I'd get a greater understanding. But that, that's just what comes with life. But they had this uh, giant sand dunes. I think that's why then it was named Dune. I don't remember. For Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um... But the, the idea was that these, these, these worms, these giant worms, they're like as big as your city. They're ridiculous. That they could feel the vibrations in the earth. But they only came out after you if you, if it was like a regular vibration. Like you're running, right? Like do, 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 do. So the, the, the philosophy was you don't want to get eaten by these giant worms. Now nah, nobody says who figured this out, but I mean, it was, it was pretty, pretty neat. If you walk without rhythm, the worm does not come to. That was really close. The worm does not does not come to get you. Hence the word. If you walk without rhythm, you will not attract the worm. Now there's some innuendos there. So I mean, dude, don't dive too deep into it. It, it. It's meant for that movie, not for anything else. But people can take it out of context. Sure. It's the beauty of the human mind. <clears throat> I would argue that since the Garden of Eden, Eden <laughs> the Garden of Eden, people can take definitions and mold them to whatever they wish. That's the knowledge of good and evil. Because you have knowledge of it, you think you can alter it. But that's not true. Having an understanding of something does not mean you can change it. We can see this in the individual human spirit. I know how my three-year-old acts and what she can and cannot do. That doesn't mean she's going to eat her vegetables if I say, eat your vegetables. You know, the, the will is so, so different. Than the actual person. No, we were talking about um. Uh, who was I even talking about this with? I'm sorry, I'm trying to rack my brain. Recently, right? Recently means sometime within the past five years, or I don't know. But I was recently having a conversation about, you know, how to talk with people and with tact. And I said one of the ways I do it is I I make them say. The answer to the oh I know who it was it was uh, Trey one of the guys who works for me but yeah, I, I I make them say the answer so like a uh, abortion is like the one I can go to right when you ask them like if they ask you first right when they, I'm talking they versus us the uh, the whole abortion issue you, are you saying a woman doesn't have a right to her body that is they are making you say what they want you to say because you're wrong either way there's something wrong with the question. The actual question is, when is the right to take human life? Because what's more important, right? Life or choice. That's where you have to, you have to that's when you got to think about the right question to ask. So you're assuming in, in one that choice is more important than life. And in the other, life is more important than choice. I'm just going to play high graphics from now on. It seems to be working out pretty well. I really like that background. I prefer the uh, the original. Of course, it's a compound. We freaking called it, dude. I think I'm waiting. I think I'm gonna wait for a gate change. We'll be here for like 30 more minutes. Anyway, talking with people, having them say the answer helps them buy into it too. Because once people start following your own progression of logic, it is better for them to, uh, you know, see your perspective and understand it. And when you try to rally people around truth and history and the importance of history, because like one of the the common um, his arguments of history itself is it said this is a white guy telling me this history was written by the white man i'm like that's um, my first answer is so and then my second one is like okay, okay well 
Let's be honest with us now. Do you think honestly that entire histories are racist and that no one anywhere ever has ever had the time, patience, capacity, or ability to, oh, that looks really cool, to, um, I'm sorry, I just hardly ever see this anymore. Anyway, they didn't have the ability to act, find out what real history is. No, we go for general consensus. For historical accuracy, you, you examine multiple views and you come up with an opinion based on those. This is actually the, the whole concept behind biblical accuracy. We have more information now. We have a better understanding of the ancient Greek and Hebrew now than we ever did. We have a better version of the Bible now than we ever did. All right, we have more assurance that what we what happened back in those times was true more now than we ever did. Things aren't getting worse through time. It's it's, it's the opposite of the telephone analogy. Things aren't getting worse. Communication's not getting lost. It's actually getting better because people are legitimately seeking truth and seeking what what it actually said and seeking what Jesus actually was all about. Now. This is where you get into the point of a uh, point of like definitions and, and consensus, right? People can say, "Oh, I Jesus didn't really mean that. Jesus didn't really mean that." Well, God gave you a brain, right? I tell you, I'm flying down the highway. Yeah, Jesus didn't really mean that. Sort of. It depends what you're talking about, right? The uh, the whole so there's a there's an anti-intellectualism case in the Bible. Jesus says, "Do not worry about what you will say in that time or hour." Okay, you can take that. Run with it outside of context and say that's an argument for anti-intellectualism. But First Peter 3.15 says always give an answer for the reason that there will be up inside of you. So if, if somebody, a scientist, says my science has disproven all this crap that you're talking about, what do you say? No. The person will look at you basically with like a stupefied expression like just because I'm like, dude, I'm like a PhD in my field. Help me out here. Because usually these uh, the claims by scientists can... They're, they're moral claims. Actually, they're always moral claims. Because agency goes beyond mathematics. You know, chicken and the egg. My, my, my three-year-old can understand this. <laughs> what came first, right? So C.S. Lewis, I mean, I remember the C.S. Lewis Institute. That doesn't mean we study all his books, but we go behind the philosophy of answering culture based on the relevant questions. Because uh, C.S. Lewis put it like this. He said, um, you know, what's more believable? I gotta check this guild hall out, dude. What is more believable? A chicken that has existed for eternity or an egg that came out of nothing? You know, but our our heart calls to away from the uh, the nothingness because it just doesn't make sense. Agency, pre it seems like agency should precede that. And if it does not, well, then it really just boggles the mind. We're going in there. We, we should probably take these guys out. I think I on our Discord. Yes, we have a Discord. The lay pack Discord. Crap, this is a bad place to find anything. But there's a uh, there's a picture of it there. there from what I, I remember, it's like rainbows everywhere. Beautiful. Oh, we did get the the switch. Thank goodness, ten extra crowns. Sign me up, yo. Anyway, I forget what we were talking about. I'm kind of blown away by the awesomeness of the background. Probably the best best graphical feature in the game. Whoop. Excuse me. Do we play all these bullet hell games and then we get hit by the, like the slowest spike on the freaking planet? Whose fault is that? Well, Nick's obviously gave up on his creation. No, he sold it and moved on. I followed Nick on Twitter once in a while. Um, he was playing the is it Octopath. I forget what the name of the game is. Line him up. Oh, you. You know what? I want you to hit me. <laughs> we did it. One of the things I'm psyched about was, is we, we don't have an oct octogenarian socialist who's the front runner for the Democratic Party. I mean, you could play the odds, if you wish, and say that Trump will beat him more so than Joe Biden, on a, in a, and he'll have a better footing to do so anyway. 
Because by going a capitalist from going as a communist, well, we're really kind of. Why am I talking about politics? Let's talk about games. I want to, dude. I'm, I'm probably gonna end up finishing Children Water. By the way, I'm 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 trying to do two videos a day. So if you really want to support myself, um, pop a view there, like button. But I, you know, I'm always up for suggestions. I'm I'm doing this once in a while. Catacomb Kids has me hooked. It seems like it gives me enough challenge. It's a roguelite, so everyone's different, but it's the same kind of mechanics. If you have not seen or played that game, I'd strongly recommend it. Very difficult. Oh, oh we're going to eat it there. Very difficult game. But, like, it's one of those, like, the Dark Soul-esque kind of philosophy of where... I've yet to win a run. I don't even know if you can. <laughs> but you, uh... There's always something to know. Like, the guys in the, who are leaving comments for me, they're, uh... Like, they, they tell me something new every day, and I'm, I find myself going further and further on a more consistent basis. Just because having those extra bits of knowledge really helps out. It's almost like life, right? You learn, you should be able to learn something every day. If you're not learning something every day, either you're not pursuing life as, as well as you should, or your your life is not branching you out enough. You know, you need that variety. We live in the, in the, um, in an interesting mixture of relative and absolute. You know, we have the same, we have cycles, right? And paths and waves. It's the, it's a same type of day, but it's a different day. You know, the sun comes up, we're going to probably die here. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, latency. We need to off some of these guys. We're going to be in big trouble. Right in the line, please. Cha, 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 cha. You know, we're all humans, but we're different individual human beings. A mixture of an absolute and a relative. We somehow threaded the needle there. It was amazing. We can do this. I'm getting it. I think I'm not. Look at this beautiful orbitals. I forgot how pretty this game was. You know what? Just hang out here. You'll do a great job. Guard the entrance or something. Oh no. Pill popping time. I mean, Neo did it. And if he did it, John Wick did it. I mean, who are we to say it's not a good idea? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got this. I'm noticing my graphic and graphical frame rate is just about the same on low graphics as it is, it is here. Please go down. Good. So hey, I might just rock out higher, higher graphics. Oh my goodness. Oop. We're still alive. Let's just take a minute. We'll come back and get our reward when it is due. I believe we must take these guys out first. Blah blah. The game gets you with a horde concept, though. Individual monsters, not that big a deal. I do appreciate, again, I appreciate compounds. I like the toughness of it. The absolute frustration comes when you have barely little to any reward when you're finished with the level. So that that leaves your, uh, as opposed to other levels, right? That'd be, that's the, it'd be different if it was in a vac vacuum. People like hard things. People like challenges. You can see this on people, you know, being addicted to games like Dark Souls. Some people are, some people are not. And we always appreciate people with, oh, I did it. <laughs> Stepped on a pile of poop with spikes in it. We can, when you recognize somebody with a high skill set, for me, it's martial arts. Or a good dancer, or something like that. We watch YouTube videos of people being amazing. Almost to the point where we're spoiled. So when something actually amazing happens in front of our eyes, we'll be like, oh, we already saw that. And we'll devalue their gift from seeing it, instead of giving it the appreciation it deserves you know a good artist puts a lot of time into their skill regardless of how naturally talented they are you not a single radio okay 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 beautiful let's see how well we did Oh man, it's almost work time.
I like doing this in the morning too. It gives me a nice uh, warm up outlet for my vocal cords. But anyway, we like card games. That's all I'm saying. Know what I mean, Mike? Why are we playing this game? We can just almost guarantee ourselves to get to the bottom. Well, you know, we've been playing it for a while. We're a couple year veteran. <laughs> 21 rads, pretty good. 8,000 credits, solid. Just do that 30, this 30 more times, and we can buy a lucky box. Something seems a little bit off about that trade. Anyway, oh, here's the thing about, oh, we're going to go experience the Guild Hall. In true brilliance. In the next 20 minutes after Java loads. <laughs> Uh, we're going. Beautiful. I missed my first guild hall. Built a maze in it. It was pretty awesome. Is it wrong if you lose track of the guilds you've been in? There was a point where I would just go to any guild that invited me and then leave like five minutes later because I don't know, you assume community. Actually, it took me a while to join this one, and, and I had to request it. It's very rare that I do that, because and they're all Singapore, Singaporean. <laughs> that is even a verb. <gasps> oh my gosh, the beauty. This is beyond LGBT. Anyway, I think that'll do it for this one. What a great way to end the run. Well, once again, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Yep, it sure does.